Hi, and welcome to another Keyshot quick tip. Flakes is a geometry shader available in the pro version of Keyshot that allows you to turn any object into a three-dimensional volume of square or spherical flakes. In this quick tip, I want to add chrome flakes inside the cloudy plastic toothbrush handle. To do so, go to the scene tree, right-click the handle part and create a duplicate that we will use to create the flakes. Change the material type of the duplicate to metal and set the type to measured chrome. Then open up the material graph for the chrome part that we want to convert into flakes. Right click, go to geometry and select flakes. Connect the flakes node to the geometry input of the material root node. Make sure the flake geometry shader node is selected and hit the execute geometry nodes button to apply it to the material. For the purpose of this video, we have sped up the geometry node execution process. Keep in mind this process may take some time depending on complexity of the geometry and amount of system memory. If you don't have the flakes node selected, you can also hit the geometry nodes button in the top bar of the material graph. At first, we don't see anything because the flakes are too big and too far apart. Change the flake size to 1mm and density to 0.5 per millimeter and hit the execute geometry nodes button again. The flakes can be adjusted further through the following parameters. Flake shape lets you choose if you want the flakes to be square or spherical. Size sets the size of the flakes. Size variation lets you add fractional variation of the flake size. The density slider will adjust how close the flakes are to each other. And the flake limit slider allows you to limit the amount of polygons used to create the flakes. By enabling vertex colors, you can make the flakes different shades, and by applying flake UV, you can add a custom map to the flakes. If you don't want the flakes to be distributed evenly inside the object, you can add a texture to control the density. This will act as a sort of mask on the density. Where the texture is black, no flakes will be shown, and the amount of flakes will increase where the texture is lighter. Where the texture is white, the density will be as defined in the density parameter. Right click, go to textures and select color gradient, and connect the color gradient node to the density texture of the flakes node. Select the color gradient node and hit C on the keyboard to show the color information coming from that node. Select center on part in the texture properties, and hit the move texture button. Rotate and reposition the texture as needed. This setup will give us most flakes in the top of the toothbrush and fewer as we move downwards. Hit C on the keyboard to exit the color preview and hit the geometry notes button to update the geometry. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of the playlists below. And to make sure you don't miss out on any new content, Subscribe to our channel by clicking the keyshot icon in the center of the screen.